So, I had this thought the other day about kids being kids. Or letting kids be kids, or I don't know, whatever the phrase <clears throat> that you're familiar with would be, but the sentiment that you should allow kids to be kids. And I mean, you should allow, meaning someone who is an adult who has some type of um, responsibility or, dare I say the word, control, um, whether it be a teacher or a babysitter or an, a parent or whatever, right? Um, letting kids be kids. The phrase was just, you know, something that has been around for a long time, and I think most people understand that phrase the same way I do, which is like, hey, just... Well, I mean, what's a kid? What's a what? What separates a kid from an adult? I guess you know, and and like, just let them just do whatever. Like, they don't need responsibilities and blah 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 blah. So, things you know fall apart eventually when we're like, hey, well, what is a kid? A kid, a child. A child is not an adult. An adult we call in in Canada basically when you're 18. All of a sudden, at an, a certain age, you're just magically an adult. So, I mean, there's a lot of different things with this, and it's like. I'm picking it apart for a reason, because these these are things that, these are issues or problems that exist with the phrase, like, just let a kid be a kid, man, just like, why you gotta, like, whatever, right? So, um, part of the problem is, like, well, how long is a kid a kid? Like, what, everyone's got a different interpretation of that. Um, at what point do you want to start teaching a child to be an adult? Because that's where this conversation is going. That phrase annoys me and bothers me, one, because it is so vague. It's not saying anything. I understand the sentiment that someone is trying to make because they're trying to come to the defense of a child in the aspect of like, hey, they don't need to do anything difficult in their life. Let's just spoil them and let them be, you know, let them just do whatever they want or just have fun. That, that gets thrown around a lot too. Like, Kids just, their job is to have fun. And it's like, no, their, their job is, is to, I mean, what is their job? Who's dictating what their job is, right? Like, that's why I said this kind of pertains to people who um, have responsibility to children. And what I mean by that, because, I mean, the other way of saying it, which I think is really negative, is being like having control over a child. Where if you are an authority figure or whatever, right? But, I mean, I think if you have a responsibility to a child, like a, a teacher has, or like I said, a babysitter or a parent, um, even family members of, of that child that are... Anyone who's in that child's life could be said to have a certain amount of responsibility to them. Now, some cases, like a parent would have way more responsibility to the child than someone else would who maybe like a, like a family member they never see, or a babysitter, or a family friend. Uh, a teacher has a certain amount of responsibility, you know, as well. Um... So if you have responsibility to that child, what, what is your responsibility? What, what, what is it that you're supposed to be doing, right? And we, the, the obvious answer would be like, well, nothing bad. Okay, nothing bad. What's bad? What's good? Again, semantics are, language is important, right? Um, but if you have responsibility to, to do what? Some people's relationship with a child, they feel the responsibility is to spoil them. Like, oh, I'm the grandparent, and that's just what I do. And some people think that. Other people don't. But some people, like, that's, that's your role, and it's, like, this really basic, like, thing. And no, your responsibility, if, if you truly want what is in the child's best interest, if that's what your responsibility is, what's in their best interest, it isn't doing nothing and having fun all day and having no responsibilities. Right? There is a certain age where um, things are more applicable than others, right? Like, that's why there's laws about when you can work because some people exploit their children to work and they might have to work less because of it because their children are out in the workforce bringing money home, like, and maybe not having enough of the other things that they need, like free time and fun, because that's part of childhood development, right? Playing games, being social. Like, all these different things are important parts of being a healthy child, growing into a healthy adult. So, there's a balance, though, I really feel. And so, when someone says, well, I let a kid be a kid, like, well, okay, again, what is a kid to you? What is a kid to me? What is a child? What is the age of reason? What is the age where kids start to know what's right and wrong? When do we start teaching them responsibilities and work ethic and things that will make them a successful adult? That is the biggest thing for me. That is why it's not just, you know, the kids just need to have, oh, no. 
if, if we focus on, or if we don't focus on anything, and we, or we focus on, you know, just have fun and whatever that means, and don't give children any responsibilities, I mean, responsibilities are an opportunity for growth. I mean, they're an opportunity to learn. Like, without those responsibilities, without those things, then there's no, what, how many opportunities are they going to have to learn from their mistakes, to make mistakes, and then, and then learn from them and be guided to maybe what would be a better choice next time and whatever else, right? Um, this is maybe why there's certain generations or certain groups of, of people with certain um, cultural, I guess, like, the cultural norms of certain groups and, and whatever else that, like, why some folks are more successful or less successful, and then we got to define success, but I mean, or, or happy or le more happy or less happy or whatever, because certain cultures believe in, in certain things. Obviously not every single person in the culture, it's not like a blanket belief, but I mean, certain things are taught and passed down and certain knowledge, like I grew up in, you know, the prairies. My whole life I've been living in the prairies of Canada. I was born and raised there, uh, between Alberta and Saskatchewan, I've spent you know, 34 years in those provinces. Um, and there's certain things that, that, that have influenced me as an individual, right? And there's other things, like when you start accessing the world around you and then and you have different ideas and whatever, and it doesn't mean you're just a product of your environment. You're also a product of your own thoughts and feelings and opinions based on everything you experience, and you can experience things outside of your environment. Also, the things in your environment, you can choose to look at critically and analyze and realize, okay, everyone's doing that thing in my environment, but that thing sucks, and that's not a good thing, so I'll do the not that thing. Anyway, off the rails. Um, I think that it is important to have a balance, right? To, to balance in all things, and this is one of those things where people sometimes object to having children know the value of hard work. That's something that I think takes time. I don't think you can just, as I'm learning, instill that value in even a year necessarily, especially when you're trying to maybe correct um, the, the previous years beforehand. Um, I'm, using the word correct means that I think that things were wrong. But I mean, trying to... I mean, you try to correct yourself even, right? Like, you think you're doing the correct thing and then you have to correct that and oversteer and then you have to go back the other way, and whatever, based on what you believe was right in the moment, and then come to a realization that later on, like, ah, I tried this thing, and it wasn't really working, and now I've got to correct that, that with this other thing. And sometimes those things are really quick, depending on the maturity of the child, too, of like, oh, yes, I understand that as a, that, that as a reasonable thing or, or something that has rational value and it's not just an emotional whatever or it doesn't take that much time necessarily to teach certain things because it makes sense to them in their undeveloped minds some things are clicking and some things aren't yet um anyway but i i obviously believe somewhat that your environment plays a role um in being able to teach you things there's nature and there's nurture and nurturing things like work ethic and discipline like self-discipline and um, nurturing a value on self-betterment, I don't think is a bad thing. You can do that in a fun way, but not everything is about fun. I just don't think that the reality of adulthood should be ignored and completely thrown out the window and cherish these, these moments as a child where you have no responsibilities. That doesn't make sense to me. Because how do you prepare them for the reality of adulthood? In which you will have responsibilities. And if you don't fulfill your responsibilities, there are dire consequences at times, right? Like, with, with having a job, with needing to pay your rent, with needing to feed and clothe yourself and whatever else, right? Like, you, you don't necessarily have someone there who's going to take care of you. You know, if you are someone who is maybe not neurotypical and is incredibly um, <laughs> deficient, I guess mentally or cognitively you are not able to take care of yourself then we have programs in place and whatever that you qualify for and there's all sorts of issues with that too people taking advantage of that system but also that system not working for people and people that should be in it whatever that there there are opportunities there that will take care of those people but if you're not one of those people 
and you are deemed by the rest of your peers and society and the culture you live in to be able to fend for yourself. And if you are actually cognitively able to be independent and, you know, make money and live and feed and clothe yourself and shelter yourself or whatever, then how are you going to do that without any skills, right? Um, those things are important. I mean, there's so many people and there's all these memes about like, how you learn friggin' Pythagorean's theorem in high school and, and you don't learn how to do taxes and prepare yourself to be an adult in the real world. And yeah, our education system is completely outdated um, in so many areas and they revise curriculums and whatever. But I mean, the system in and of itself and why it was created in the first place, um, you know, at, at the time of like um, industrial revolution and, and teaching certain things to have people work in factories. I mean, obviously this is outdated. And, and we have obviously evolved more than just that. We have programs that, I mean, are disappearing, but that, that do focus on art and other skills that are necessary. And, you know, people are pushing coding now and whatever. And yes, we evolve, but it's too slow. Um, but with that, anyone who has a responsibility to a child, the responsibility to want them to be at their best, to want them to be prepared for life, to want them to enjoy themselves... Why would it be, hey, let's focus on you enjoying yourself for the first 15 years of your life and, or 18 years of your life or whatever and just having fun and just let's not worry about being an adult. And then you get to adulthood and then what? And then you don't – you are an adult way longer than you're a child if you live a full life or if you die of natural causes or just poor health when you age and whatever, right? You are an adult for, you know, 60 years longer – <laughs> than you are a child for the first, you know, I'm 20, let's just round up. Like, that's ridiculous to be like, let's just focus on that and not prepare you for this, right? Let's just completely focus on that and you don't learn work ethic, you don't learn the reality of life, that people are going to say no to you, like that, that life isn't fair, that whatever. You can create opportunities and experiences for, for children when you... How, when you are in that position, uh, let's call it a position of power. I mean, children are vulnerable, f vulnerable for many reasons, right? People that are, you know, older, like adults, can manipulate children in all sorts of ways. Some of the, I mean, the word manipulate kind of sounds negative, right? But obviously you can manipulate a scenario for a ch child to learn it. You manipulate scenarios all the time in education. Like, this is the lesson, and I want you to learn this thing, and what, uh, what, this is how, whatever, right? Ugh. Anyway, yeah. You, you can create scenarios for, for children to learn in. You can create scenarios in which the learning is incredibly low. You can do these things. You have a certain amount of power um, if you have responsibility to a child. And you can do certain things with those opportunities. You know, your responsibility to a child is an opportunity as well. It's an opportunity for them. It's an opportunity for you. And I just think that this blanket statement of, wow, well, kids be kids... Like, it's silly. I don't like it. Um, I, I don't like any blanket statement, you know. I try not to make them, and, and inevitably I'm human and I'm fallible, and I do. But, I mean, there's nuance and complexity to everything, and uh, this is one of those things that it's... I mean, there's nuance and complexity. Yeah, there is to everything, and some things are inherently disgusting or wrong um, in and of themselves, but then there's still room for conversation about why people have certain ideas and thoughts. Anyway... Uh, this is one of those things, too, that I'm like, that's that's not it. That's not, that's not an answer to, like, ah, I just like kids be kids. Like, what does that mean? Can you tell me what that means? Because I'm going to make an assumption based off of you not giving me enough information. That's all that I can do if you don't give me enough information. And if you actually want what's best for the child, then letting kids be kids with no responsibilities at all or education and conversation and opportunities for growth and opportunities to make mistakes and opportunities to fail and whatever. Like, those are opportunities for growth and learning. Without that, you're not doing what's in the best interest of the child. Straight up. See you in another time.